Now, going over to the political part of the podcast, you have Biden putting on a MAGA hat and going viral. Now, admittedly, I actually, I cannot believe it. I missed this earlier this week. It went, of course, ultimately viral is Biden literally just put on a MAGA hat when he was out in public. And granted, the way the Democrat Party put a coup on him and actually he was running for presidential office or to be reelected, and they stole that opportunity from him after the people voted for him, I mean, he should be irate. If anything, I actually think he should be a Trump fan, just in, just despite the DNC that screwed him over. I mean, you can also argue the same thing about Bernie Sanders when, I mean, it's ridiculous. The people were voting for Bernie and the DNCs are their super delegates because, again, big government knows better than you. Who cares about, they don't care about your wants or our needs. They decided to override the people and they put Clinton in charge for the 2016 election, which ultimately did pan out pretty well. Yeah, the People's Party, my rear. Now, this comes to us thanks to Still Bolness. He says, quote, this is how it really happened. Trump, and check Biden. And it's so funny. Oh, we'll see if the music is actually there. Yet another reason to tune in on the good old Rumble, since they do not censor anything. YouTube might rip out the music, though. We'll see. Forever, forever, forever. Biden's at some type of public event, looking pretty clueless. Forever, together, together, forever, and he literally puts on the Trump hat. Oh. Also, socially awkward. I don't have much ground to stand on that case either, but Biden is wearing a baseball hat. He puts on the Trump hat on top of it. So he's also wearing a double hat. Interesting choice of fashion. And to Biden's credit, he did suit up. He, his handlers did something right that day. And this is a little video compilation of Trump actually, you know, giving him the video spliced together where Trump is actually giving him a thumbs up. And it's hilarious. I mean, this went pretty well. I got 1.9 million views. Also, kind of further highlights, you know, just the mental decay of Biden, who technically is still a president of the United States somehow. And from pre Biden also got 33,000 likes. And one of the first likes comes from, or first comments comes from Cash Loren says, Biden has to be furious about the Kamala coup getting 148 likes, or coup rather, if I could pronounce things properly. Yet again, a further reminder to click that subscribe button as I will someday go through a whole episode without any speaking ineptitudes. Tall order, some might say, but gotta hope for something. And, Ever since I got more and more subscribers, I've become slightly but surely better at speaking. Now, other ones that I have the top comments, you have Christian Hawkins saying Trump nodding at the end was like Mr. Maggi and is just incredible. Getting 121 likes. We also have Freerinus Christiasis saying this is well executed, getting 83 likes. Kevin Groza says the internet is a work of art, getting seven, no, 67 likes. Which is pretty hilarious. All these memes. <laughs> Someone did a video compilation of Trump throwing a hat and then hands over to Biden, catching the hat and then putting the hat on his head. I got 67 likes. Is any contrarian statements? Probably not. We'll scroll, we'll scroll and try to see if there's any though. A lot of people are saying Trump wants you. It's the part of the video where Trump is pointing at the camera. Bill Gidigan says a fantastic insight. You have thought this one up. Kudos getting five likes. Malcolm Flex says, oh my god, getting four likes. A lot of people having the Miss Miyake moment. A lot of people, the, what's it? Well, America Got Talent little GIF where they say absolutely outstanding. I mean, of all the things that happened in politics the past couple years, that has to be the most, one of the most hilarious moments. I mean, they're already borrowing a lot of Trump's policies. Why not start to borrow some of his fashion apparel? I mean, that's just, that's freaking spot on. And again, one of those things where, Trump, I'll, I'll play the extended version. Trump, I'll give you my presidential hat. Presidential seal on it. You want to autograph it? Oh, sure, I'll autograph it. Huh? Yeah. You remember I'll your name? I don't remember my name. I'm slow. You're an old part. You're an old part. Yeah, I know, man. I'm an old guy. <laughs> and you're an old part, right? I know you would know about that. What? About being old. Oh, I know. All right, I'm a young timer. Huh. <laughs> he reminds me of the guys I grew up with. There was always one in the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm the only one. That's the most blandest, de the most hey. blandest description of someone ever. You remind me of someone that grew up in my neighborhood. There's always one. There you go, man. I, got, I, need, I need that hat. You want my autograph? Hell no. <laughs> you, know, you know my name. Come on. I ain't going that far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is he just being a good sport? 
I'm actually a little shocked for words. That's there's political moves. That was kind of funny. Where's I was gonna say? Where's that? What is that? A couple months ago, when he's actually running, he actually granted the bar was pretty low. But he actually sounded more cognitive then than in months. I mean, yeah, that's kind of funny. It's a good way. To, again, I'm, if you're still running, that might be actually a good way to kind of win over hearts and minds and some people and kind of change the perception about him. Uh, granted, he's been because of the coup, he's been you know pushed out. He's no longer running for office, even though he said he would never drop out and he really wanted to run. Just... But yeah, that's... Yeah, that's actually kind of funny. I'm surprised... Yeah, where was that kind of personality years ago? I grant his policies are still the antithesis of what the founding fathers believed in, and has led to one of the most worst decades, or worst economies of my lifetime. But, yeah. That, in, terms of, in terms of PR, that's actually not bad. The bar's pretty low, don't get me wrong, but yeah, that's funny, interesting. Here, interesting enough, a bunch of the you know, a lot more comments for people laughing, and not like all the comments again, there's hundreds of comments, but these don't get any, we're getting to the point where they're not any more likes. But yeah, I think that, that's actually kind of funny. I was gonna say, pretty interesting, and yet they still pushed him out, which again, the bar is pretty low, but in terms of Biden or Kamala, I'll at least get Biden credit. I remember during the 2020 primary when Kamala was talking about, you know. She said if Congress didn't act, quote unquote, and confiscate guns within the first hundred days, she'd pass an executive order that removed them. To Biden's credit, he said that sounds constitutional. You can't do that. Your checks and balances. He also, when you ask about packing the Supreme Court and breaking the law and destroying the country in that regard, Biden did say he wasn't going to do that. Granted, I disagree with a, a damn or near every one of his policies, but he had some redeeming characteristics. He, he mostly leftists, but again, he had some. Like, Mala, jeez. Someone who's left of Bernie Sanders, I can't help but wonder, statistically speaking, are, are the odds of the DNC winning 2024 more with Kamala? I, I really debate it. I almost wonder if she's actually more toxic than him. I mean, he, to my credit, he at least didn't sleep to the top. He actually did well, public sector work, but he said it's time to get where he was today. After he got the call, he didn't do anything in the private sector to really work, but still, he didn't sleep his way to the top. May, eh? But do you think the DNC might be hoping he comes back in a couple of weeks? Oh, I mean, who knows? I mean, the crazier things that happen, maybe they'll push wheel him back in. But let me know, are you surprised he he did that little PR stunt or that you, you know, put on the mag hat? It, it went pretty viral, it got some laughs. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, because as always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make sure better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your co-workers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.